Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now we are starting new syllabus, Primary Mathematics, Oxford, second edition, book two, and we are starting chapter number eight. Chapter number eight is about the mass. What is mass? Mass tells us that how heavy or light something is. If I hold this duster, it feels very light because it has less mass. If I hold this register or notebook, it has comparatively more mass because it is heavier than the duster. So, heaviness or lightness of things is measured in terms of mass. When you tell your age to someone, you say, I am seven years old, or you say, I am nine years old. So you are telling your age in terms of years. This is called unit. So unit of age is years. Okay. So mass has also a unit. If we want to tell about the mass of things, so we will use some unit. Unit of mass is either kilogram or gram. Kilogram, we put K capital, G small, this is called kilo, this is for K is for kilo, G is for gram. So, we say, <coughs> let's suppose sugar is I bought sugar 2 kg, 2 kilogram sugar I bought <clears throat> or we can say mangoes, I bought 3 kg mangoes, 3 kilogram mangoes I bought. So these quantities like these things like sugar, rice, fruits, flour, etc. these are measured in terms of kilograms or grams. Gram is smaller unit. This is a smaller unit. Kilogram is a bigger unit. Because if there are thousand small small grams small thousand pieces they make a big piece means thousand grams is equal to one kilogram one kg so always one kg k means kilo and kilo means thousand so we say if we say that i bought thousand gram of sugar it means i bought one kilogram of sugar if i say that I bought 2000 grams mangoes. So we know that 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilo or 1 kg. So 2000 kilo, 2000 grams will be 2 kg or 2 kilo. So we say we bought 2 kg of mangoes. So we always tell or express mass in the unit of kg, kilogram or gram. So how to measure the mass? Mass is measured with the help of a balance. B A L N C E. We use a measuring, we say balance or measuring balance. When you visit a fruit shop, you have seen the balance like this, it is also 
given in your notebook the diagram of balance here it is like this straight it comes down it comes down so here there are two sides one side they put the weight like this 1 kg and one side they put the things like there are this is a bag of rice or sugar so to measure the mass of rice or sugar this balance is used b a l a n c e i will show you the picture on the book this is a balance as it is written here it is a balance there are two sides one side they have put the weight or mass 1 kg it is written here 1 kg and here they are they have put a pack of flour 1 kg okay so here they have they have put one side it is rice and sack of rice and here it is uh, sugar 2 kg so they use this balance or there is another way to measure the mass you know that at homes we have the machine which is called weighing scale weighing scale this is the weighing scale it has a dial numbers are marked like the clock this is a kilogram scale this is the pointer the needle is the pointer wherever it rests this needle here in this case flour is kept here so before putting or keeping the flour here the needle or pointer was at zero so after putting after placing the flour the pack of flour here the pointer moves because it is weight which is putting mass or weight downwards so pointer moves to 1 because it was 1 kg so this is the kg uh, weighing scale so it, this pointer now it is towards the number 1 so it is 1 kg flour so this is the weighing scale so either we use balance or we use weighing scale to measure the mass of different things so now we need to know that there is one thing that when we put the things to measure in a balance so when this upper part is straight like this so it means both the sides are equal if this side we put 1 kg mass and this side we put rice so whenever this part is straight it means both the sides are equal this rice is equal to 1 kg because it is in a balanced position this is one thing this is number 1 now number 2 is always remember that the side any of the sides this this the, here we have two sides so any of the sides which goes down that is the heavier side like if we 
put uh, a sack of rice and this is not straight it goes like this and it goes like this so this side it is here we have sack of rice and here we have this side sugar this is sugar and here we have rice so number second number at number two to remember is always remember that the side of the balance which is down that is heavier than the side which is up so we have here more mass of rice than sugar so sugar has less mass than rice so we can say this is heavier portion because this side is going down due to the weight it has here rice have more weight so this side is down due to their mass okay and this is lighter sugar is lighter it has less mass, mass than rice so it is on the upper side so, so always the side which is down that has more mass that has that carries the heavier thing so likewise we we can say that if something is up so it is on the upside it is lighter if we here it goes like this it goes like this so here we have flour pack of flour and here we have sugar pack of sugar so this is up so this is lighter because it has less weight or less mass so sugar has more mass because it is down so we can say that this is lighter than sugar so at the same time we can say sugar is heavier than flour so these are the things to remember when we study mass so now we will move to page number 137 here we will say we'll tell you one thing that no what they have done is in the balance they have here they have tomatoes and here they have One kg mass. So here, this side is down. So we will say tomatoes are lighter than one kg because we told you previously that whatever side is heavier, it will be down. So we you can see this is down and this is up. So we can say this is not one kg. This is less than one kg. We can say tomatoes are lighter than 1 kg so if the same uh, pack of tomatoes if we put on weighing scale so we can say we can see that before putting here it was the pointer the red pointer was the red pointer was at 0 before putting it here so after putting placing the pack of tomatoes here it moved 
so this red pointer is before one so it is not one it is less than one so the same thing we can use this balance or we can use weighing balance the result will be the same here one kg is more than the tomatoes it means tomatoes are less than one kg here also the, the pointer is saying that tomatoes are less than one kg before because the pointer is before the, the number one so, uh, similarly here in question number five they have put one side tomatoes and one side it is kg one kg so we can see that this side is down so tomatoes are heavier than one kg it means they are more than one kg so the bag of potato is heavier than one kg so here also we see that if the same pack if we place here and the wing scale wing balance or wing scale okay so we see that it moved the pointer moved after one so it means the potatoes are heavier than or they are more than one kg their mass is more than one kg so we can either use this one or either this one similarly here we see that when we placed one side 2 kg sugar and one side 2 kg mass so it is balanced it is neither going down nor going up so it is balanced in a resting position or horizontal position okay this is like a sleeping line this is not a sleeping line this is not a sleeping line here it is like this here it is uh, like this up so this is a sleeping line okay so here they are equal so it is we can say this sugar is exactly 2 kg because this side is 2 kg so even if we place the same sugar here on the weighing scale so the pointer moved and it rested on the number 2 so we can say this sugar is exactly 2 kg so we can use either of the scales either balance or weighing balance now we will be moving to page number 138 